something brand new and historic. The 12-team college football playoff is here. And an exciting new wrinkle, these first-round games are on campus in front of hyped-up and partisan crowds. Two teams battling for the right to move on to the quarterfinals. And our matchup tonight sets up a potential Cinderella story. The last team to qualify for this 12-team playoff on the road against a team that likely believes it should be resting and watching this first-round game on TV. This is a dangerous spot for the home team and a chance for the underdog to spring an upset and move on to the quarterfinals. As we'll see the number 12 seed in this playoff, the Kansas State Wildcats taking on the number five seed in the playoff. The Ohio State Buckeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Joined as always by Kirk Street. And the playoff is here. We've got a tremendous on-campus environment. Can't wait to get this one started. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. The Wildcats offense comes on the field first today. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. They don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. It's third and six, a challenging spot here on the open drive. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Trying to create outside the pocket now. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. We'll see if he can make a play on this return. And the return will be brought down. So Ohio State's offense comes out for their first possession today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Unleashes the stiff arm. Gets past the tackler into open space now. Breaks clear over the middle. Can they catch him? No stopping and takes it all the way. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Oh, my. What a great play call here by the offensive coordinator. The running back received some great blocking up front and just took off with it, carving up this defense all the way to the end zone. Third down play for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. The tackle made, but the sophomore quarterback showing us the arm strength. Kansas State getting set with a first and 10 coming up. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. Not much on that play brought down short. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short from the plus 27. To throw, it's Johnson. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. We're able to get the ball back, but it could still be a drive kill. 
Hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. So after taking a closer look, the officials will overturn that previous ruling. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. Nick is up and no good. And after the miss, still down by seven. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he's going to float this one to the right side. But this one is broken up and falls incomplete. Offense getting set. Second down play here. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down at the 47. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Work down to the 46, good enough for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A big throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. Ball back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal. We're going to score with a run to the right. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Ohio State. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. That's exactly what happened here as they scored this touchdown. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Pressure is coming. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. I mean, that's just being a difference maker up front. You look at that uniform, you think over the years with Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, and Chase Young, and so many great defensive linemen. And this guy right here is showing you he's got some of the similar skill set as some of those greats. So bad plays on first and second down puts him in a tough spot here. Third and very long. To the air, it's Johnson bringing pressure. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack, well, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. The Wildcats bring their punt team onto the field. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the punt head's out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They punch it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? That defensive back played that route so well. Right on the receiver's hip, he saw the ball and just swatted it away. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down, and he lofts it deep over the middle. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there. But now it's third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. And he's got his man open downfield. And he breaks clear down the right side. It's a foot race. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches the football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him in. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a 
four point type of play touchdown or field goal third down out of the shotgun the pass rush closing in the defense will wrap him up but he's able to scramble for a first down and keep the drive going and the Wildcats will line up now it's first and goal keep it on the ground on first and goal they try the middle but gain nothing on that play offense facing second and goal Trying for the touchdown, they'll test the left side. And the tackle is made, but let's check out what this flag is about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That stings for the offense. Penalty will cost him 10 yards. Second down and goal, upcoming. Keep it on the ground, there's the handoff. And that run produces a decent gain. Hey, the defense is doing everything that they can to try to keep these guys out of the end zone. Now we've got a big third down coming up. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He escapes the sack. And he'll be brought down. QB just ran out of options. He decides to take matters into his own hands and takes off on that scramble. I thought he might come close to getting it to the end zone. Comes up just a little bit short. The kick is blocked. Somebody got a hand on that. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? The 30. At the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Ohio State. Just ran away from the defense. And here comes the punter onto the field. On to kick it away. And he takes it around the 20. The returner is brought down to the start of the next drive. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? First play of the drive now, coming up from the 29. And there's the handoff. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards, sets up a nice second and two. Because I just love to see this offensive line and this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half, so... And he's looking to make a big play downfield. Catch made down inside the 15. They finally get him down at the 10-yard line. Sets up a first and goal. What a play. What guys are going to take advantage of this red zone trip? Scanning the field. It's Howard. And it's caught. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a... Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Al, 55. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Looking to scramble. Oh, he can't bring it in. A chance for a takeaway. That one of the star players on this defense couldn't make it. Getting set. Here's second down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Runs through a tackle. He's got space here. Forced out of bounds, just short of the end zone. That back was shot out of a gun. How quick did he accelerate to pick up those yards? Just an electric run. Some touchdown, Ohio State. This offense is still clicking. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield. Or he may go for a third or a fourth.
Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This offense has been clicking so far, but they get aggressive, go for more before halftime. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. That's a nice stiff arm. Doesn't produce much, just a small game. That run sets up a critical third down play. Can he make it to the marker? He's found some room at the 45. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. Buckeyes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On the run, it's Judkins. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. For the defense coordinator this week, already telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. On the run, he's going to chuck it deep. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. For a few play quarterback, how about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. The Wildcats will kick this deep to begin the second half. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. Oh, and he's got some space here. Get some blocks. Still going. It's a foot race. All the way for a touchdown. That is an unforgettable moment to that kick return. A touchdown in a playoff game. Great blocking to set this return up. And, of course, you can see his natural instincts as a... The punt team making their way on the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. On the return, it's a Buka. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. He'll take a deep shot here. Catch made in the 20 in the deep shot. Big game. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Caught near the sticks. It's Smith. Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. The Buckeyes will line up here on first down and goal. Looking for six. And it's picked off in the end zone. Wow, a risky call. They bring the punter onto the field now. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And we'll see what he can do on the return. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Can they catch him? Yes, all the way to the house. Touchdown. The pump return for a touchdown in a playoff game. That's a moment we're not going to forget for some time. We won't forget about this one. And I don't think I'll ever forget the blocks that help get him loose to be able to score this touchdown. He's going to get a lot of the credit. When they go back and watch the film, I think he's going to give an assist to the entire... Special teams on the field now. Here comes a punt. On to kick it away. Bringing it back. It's a Buka. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. 
Can he make it? Can they catch him? No! Touchdown! A special teams touchdown. Potential momentum-changing play in this game. Well, that was just a thing of beauty to watch this return. The Gunners were flying down. He's able to avoid them. Picks up a couple blocks. And then you could see him gaining momentum and confidence as he was getting down. And the punt team no, makes its way onto the field. On to punt and away. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Coach just told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Breaks loose at the 40. Out of bounds after another huge chunk on the ground. What a job by this offensive line today. Another chunk of play. This offense is really clicking. Here's the handoff. Been a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in his playoff game, no adjustments. Go right back to giving this running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the beatdown continues. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle made after a big gain. Hey, when it's your day, it's your day. This offense, and especially this running back, enjoying a monster day, putting up huge numbers and having a nice, big, comfortable lead. Big chunk gain in the first play of the drive sets him up near midfield in first and ten. On the run, it's Henderson. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. So this defense finally makes a play. That's one of the few negative plays with this offense today. Yeah, you said it, Chris. They don't have the easiest road to climb back in this one, but little plays like that can be points of positivity of what coaches will likely focus on as they move forward. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kurt. In these playoff games, we certainly hope for a much more competitive battle with the shot of the national championship on the line. And has not been the case here so far. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Running out of time in the pocket. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there. After a huge gain on the ground, they come back and throw the football, and the quarterback's on his back. The offensive line's got to do a good job of not just with the run blocking, but taking care of their quarterback and giving him a chance to throw the ball. And the punt team now on to kick it away. On to kick it away.
see if he can make something happen with the return. Now they finally get him, but he found a nice lane in that return. This drive starts in good position. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. Forced to punt last time, trying to add points, build the lead right here. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And this one is getting ugly. Both they had a month to get ready for this pitch and catch combo for the playoff game. They've had no answer so far. The playoff game that. Punt team ready to boot it away. 35. On to it away. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. They'll test the right side here. Get some space around the 30. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. What a shock, right? And this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a... He's got some room. Can he get there? Touchdown, Ohio State. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. It's an easy job for the play caller, right, Kirk? They can't stop the running back. Feeding the ball, scores it. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Heads out of bounds and a short gain on the play. Another nice run by this running back. He's well over 100 yards now in the game. A big part of the reason that they're going to win this football game and advance to the next round. Inside give now from the shotgun. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. We'll give it to the running back. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Crosses the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the route is on. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunately. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Let's go! Handoff as they try to work the clock here. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. Chris, the defense dials up the blitz. They're unable to get into the backfield, giving the running back enough room. I'll tell you, the linebacker makes a great play just to come up with a tackle here. Finding some room with the 25. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. Crosses the 10. Touchdown, Ohio State. To stretch the lead, the route is on. Boy, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point, doing everything that's asked. Here comes the first play of this drive. They're set up at their own 48. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run. Really, whatever. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the beatdown continues. That's another touchdown for these guys. And they have had a day to get dream about. Whether it's the quarterback, the running back, the receivers, the offensive line, the entire unit has been dominant. Offense is out there. They're going to go for two here. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he makes it into the end zone to add two more to the lead.
And here comes the punter onto the field. In punt formation to kick it away. And it's taken at the 25. When he's got some space here. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. Handoff from the shotgun. Breaks loose at the 45. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Touchdown, Ohio State. And this one is getting ugly. Chris, you talk about having a day. This offense just goes out. They don't, they're not even looking at the scoreboard. They're just going out, executing the play call, and continuing to put points on the board. Offense is out there. Here comes a two-point conversion attempt. Yes, sir. They'll try to run this one in. And he stopped short. The two-point try failed. The punt team making their way on the field. On to kick it away. Field it at the 25. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. Great performance by this home team. There's going to be a serious party around here tonight. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Chris, in the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right here. The Buckeyes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Stop at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. Love to see this with a lead late in the game in the postseason. You got to trust your offensive line in your back. Not only do you keep the clock moving, you pick up a first down. Now you got a chance to ice this game. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Of course, in the playoffs, it's survive and advance. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage gets even bigger. The challenges will continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.